Now, Snoop had announced he quit smoking this week, but apparently is still smoking after shocking fans with what turned out to be an ad campaign in an article by Sky News. It reads, The artist, whose real name is Calvin Broder, said he decided to give up smoke on Friday. Many took this to mean Snoop Dogg was quitting smoking weed, but it turns out he was simply promoting a new smokeless fire pit. I know what you're thinking, Snoop. Smoke is kind of your whole thing, but I'm done with it, the hip-hop star said in an advert. Done with the coughing and my clothes smelling all sticky-icky, I'm going smokeless. In their partnership with the hit rapper, Solo Stove released a limited edition product called the Snoop Stove, describing it as hot enough to make the dog father go smokeless. On X, Snoop's followers weren't shocked that the rapper didn't give up smoking, with one saying Snoop had folks changing their lives so he could sell a George Foreman grill. Another said Solo Stove must have spent the bag, like asking the Pope to give up preaching for a brand deal. In the video ad, Snoop Dogg roasts marshmallows in front of the metal fire pit. Solo Stove fixed fire, they take out the smoke, clever. And as you can see, here's the video of this on X or Twitter. Now, how I feel about this is hearing about Snoop announcing that he's quitting weed was amazing news. Quitting anything is good for your overall well-being as a whole. And it's best to do what's best for you before it starts to affect you in a negative way. His transition was going to be tricky because Snoop has been known as the chronic smoking gangster forever. I mean, he has his own marijuana vape sticks and branded weed. When it comes to quitting smoking weed, Wiz Khalifa should follow in his footsteps too. But I guess it's different when your whole brand is built and centered around that. But I think it's a very mature thing to do. A lot of entertainers are following in his footsteps and maybe Wiz has already quit too, like Snoop. Who knows? But that's definitely good news and congratulations to Snoop on his deal with Solo Stove, the Snoop Stove. Stay on the good path. In light of Snoop announcing that he quit smoking weed this month and then didn't, I'm going to be reviewing the newly available Caddy Red wine, which I recently purchased at Amazon in the UK. Just a disclaimer, the previous video I posted on the Ooze podcast was videos that I made a year ago and posted to YouTube, which I'm now sharing to Spotify and Apple for you guys to revisit. So let me know what you think. Current videos will be posted on this playlist. Cali Red is a wine by 19 Crimes for winemakers. It is also available in a Zinfandel Rosé. Now, when I first opened the bottle, I basically saw that it had a cork. So you're supposed to basically unscrew the cork. And as you unscrew the cork, basically his face appears on the cork as well as the signature. So I was shocked to see that, but it was a nice little touch to the wine bottle. And it even has a code, a QR code, and it says scan here to ask Snoop a question. It's 12.5 volumes, 750 milliliters. As I'm sipping it now, I see that it's pretty strong, but it's also pretty full. It kind of tastes like black currant or maybe there's some kind of fruit along those uh, notes with it. Personally, I love it. I mean, it says like some really, some really good stuff, like in the story that it begins with on the back of the bottle, like it's stuff that can kind of help you and kind of like some stuff that, you know, affects you in a good way so that you end up feeling more motivated in life. Um, yeah, it definitely gives you that motivation. I'd say it's a good quality wine. It's a, it's it's an excellent quality wine, I would say, because you know, it's everything that you want a red wine to be. Like it tastes more like a Merlot, Shiraz maybe. 
I'd probably say more like a light Merlot or something. And um, yeah, it's 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 a very good drink. It's a very good quality drink. I like the way that they made it. It says Cali Red is being brought to you by Cali's own Snoop Dogg. Uh, I'm gonna skip all of this part here. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me read it all to you. Uh, it says his story tells of overcoming adversity, beating the odds, and taking his place as a leader in contemporary pop culture. Snoop embodies the timeless values of perseverance and redemption, full and dense with strong black and blue fruit notes, which I definitely do believe that, yeah, 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 that definitely is true. Complemented by bright red, slightly candied fruit, which is what I said. I didn't think it was a bright red. I thought it was a more of a black currant, but yep. And toasted oak. Okay, I don't know what the toasted oak is, if they actually put oak inside the bottle, or I don't know, maybe it's just been uh, inside that oak atmosphere, so it can like, maybe take in some kind of um, essence or something. Um, yeah, and it ends with Cali Red, defiant by nature, bold in character, and always uncompromising. It's a good quality bottle, for one, I'm just gonna say that. But the drink inside of it is definitely, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. I actually like this wine. I think it's really good. I'll definitely be buying it again. Um, like there's no downside I can really see to it. Um, at first, I weren't too sure if it was going to hit me. But after the first, I had, like I'm drinking out of a wine goblet at the moment as I record this video. And as I drink out of the wine goblet, which is pretty small, like I've just had one small cup and it's already affecting me. Like I can already feel it, like, you know, taking its power. So yeah, um, definitely will be getting this wine again. Perfect bottle. I love the cork element that they had with this. I think that's an excellent touch, like I said before. Uh, maybe I'll try the rosé next time. I don't know. I mean, it's, it seems like it's a really good brand. Like, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm happy with the results of this wine tasting. And um, I'm going to finish this bottle, or in it rather. Um, I reckon that uh, it's a decent wine. I think it's probably more than decent. It's a really good wine, actually, because it's quite strong. And it's full as well. It's like... The wine that you want to taste when you go out, before you go out. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this. Like, I feel like this is a really good wine. And um, yeah, I think I'll definitely be getting this one again. Let me read you uh, what it says on the back of the wine bottle. I think Kevin Hart has a tequila called Gran Coromino Reposado Tequila. And I think I'm going to do a review on this in the next video. So stay tuned. Hit the like. Subscribe. All that good stuff. The link to purchase this wine is down below in the description bar. Now, I've been watching a lot of movies and series lately. And the top three movies and series that I have watched on Amazon Prime are Air. Medellin and Everybody Loves Diamonds. Air is a story about a board of directors for Nike who are in charge of going against other footwear and sports companies trying to hire Michael Jordan, the basketball player, and get him signed instead to their company, Nike. Medellin by Frank Gaston Bide is about Raheem and Rita, who are brothers, that are angry because Raheem has been kidnapped and Rita is in charge of taking on the task of rescuing his brother from the Colombian cartel. Stan follows them along for the ride reluctantly, and this plays out through the movie, which is comedic action. Everybody Loves Diamonds is the journey of a man who conspires to rob the Diamond District with five other associates. He has his reasons why he wants to do this, but I would rather post a spoiler for everyone out there. So just let me know in the comments section if you would like me to do this and which one would you like me to post? 
New music has dropped this week. Rick Ross, Too Good To Be True, Drake, For All The Dogs, Scary Hours Edition, and Chris Brown, 1111. But the three main songs slash albums that are on my playlist at this time are Offset, Set It Off, 30 Watt, 1738, and Doja Cat, Scarlet. I didn't want to speak on the whole Cassie and Diddy bad boy lawsuit as it seems like it's everywhere right now. And personally, I'm a bit hesitant when it comes to speaking on court cases, simply for my protection. I can't scroll down my timeline without it being there, so you know it's a big situation. And if you really want to know how I feel about it, after the video, just click the thumbnail right here or follow the link in the description bar to the videos, the dynamics of Young Miami and Diddy. That was a year ago now, and I hope it's not true, but if it is, my heart goes out to all parties involved that had to suffer, and it just proves that even I know that something was off. I will probably speak on this when the peak has been reached. So you can watch that video, and while you're doing that, visit my link to Amazon Prime down below, where you can now get an Amazon Prime 30-day free trial. And have a good time while watching the next video, which is up here in this thumbnail above. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment on the subjects in this video. See you in the next one.